Good morning and welcome to a new Disney World vlog. This is my first day in the parks on this trip, which is June 2022. And I did do a travel day vlog, which I will link in the description below, but this is the first day actually in the parks and I can't wait to get started. We're gonna be going to Epcot today, which is my favorite park, as a lot of you will know. If you are new here and this is the first of my vlogs you're watching, hello, I am Victoria. Welcome to my channel. I've got loads of Disney World vlogs to keep you going until the next one comes up, which will be next Saturday. But yes, today we are off to Epcot. I've booked my bus this morning for the parks you actually have to book the bus now this is the leaflet they give you with a qr code and you have to actually reserve a time which didn't used to be the case i've stayed in this hotel before it was in march 2020 i stayed here and you never had to do that then it's a little annoying if i'm honest with you because you don't necessarily know what time you want to go and you have to book a return time as well and if you want to change your return time then you have to log in to change it and i guess like what if you don't have wi-fi or data like, I don't know, I feel like that's just an annoying extra thing that you have to do. It's bad enough with park reservations now and a lot of other things you could do without having to book your bus. So that is the first thing I've discovered about staying off site. I really do prefer that at Disney you can just jump on and off a bus as and when but we'll see how it goes and as the trip progresses we'll be doing this every day so maybe it will turn out to not be annoying at all maybe it will and that's the point of doing this trip and staying off site is to show you guys all of that and what the experience is like and i did make an attempt at getting into the virtual line for guardians of the galaxy this morning and i did vlog that so i'll insert that now okay it's 6 59 we are ready to get into the virtual queue sorry about the lighting on the phone it's doing something weird the minute that hits seven we need to hit the refresh button and then we should hopefully fingers crossed be able to get into the virtual line but i think if you don't do it right at seven it can be tricky so let's see what happens so we click refresh, join virtual queue, done, group 110. And there we go. So that is the experience for getting in the virtual line. Estimated wait 660 minutes, lovely. Glad we won't be actually in line for that. So you guys witnessed that exactly in real time. I clicked it the second it went over to seven. You have to click refresh, then join. And I'm in boarding group 110. So if you are not on this at seven, I think it is going to be game over. However, there will be another opportunity later in the day, I think at 1pm. In order to be able to do this, you do have to have a reservation for Epcot for that day and you have to have the appropriate ticket, like a valid ticket. So as long as you have that, you can get into the line and it doesn't matter whether you are on site or off site. Um, it's 7am, the same for everybody. And just to show you what you need to do to even get to that screen, when you are on this screen here, you go to virtual queues and it's going to go into the one that I've just made. But ordinarily, it would say you're not in any virtual queues. Join and then you go from there. Just bear in mind if you get into the virtual line, it is always a possibility that you may not get to ride. Because if the ride went down or something, they might not get through all of the boarding groups. So just be aware that it doesn't guarantee you getting onto the ride. But fingers crossed, I hope. Because I loved it last time. We will be getting to ride that. Um, I may make a return time for Ratatouille. I'm not going to be doing Genie Plus today. On my previous trips i haven't found it overly worth it for epcot but on other days i will be using genie plus so i'm going to get my shoes on grab my stuff and we're going to go and get this bus which i booked for 10 o'clock this morning i wasn't in a super rush to get there because i will be there later into the day and i don't want to overdo it right on my first day that is never a good thing to do so i thought i won't bother trying to get there too early this morning and another thing i spotted here at the hotel this used to be a disney store that has gone now and i think i did hear somewhere that all of the disney stores that are in the partner hotel hotels have now gone but I know there is still one at the dolphin because we went in there so I'm not sure but this one is definitely closed now I do just about have time to get a Joffrey's but I think I'll wait because there is one just outside the park entrance at Epcot so I'm now here waiting for the bus and I should say these ears are from Magic Maker Ears I absolutely love these they have some amazing designs and I do have a discount code for you and a link in the description for them and I've just been looking on the app to check on the status of the virtual line for Guardians so it's now 9.50 the park opened at 8.30 I believe today and they're now boarding groups 30 
31 to 38. I am group 110 and it's saying estimated wait 400 minutes. So unless something goes drastically wrong, I do think that we will get to ride it today. And this is where you come to catch the bus at the Wyndham. It's right outside the main lobby. There's not very many people waiting. There's just a few people here. And when you've booked your bus, you get a QR code like this and I've just screenshotted it. So I've got it on my phone and that's just what you do every single day. I should mention that you don't pay for the bus. It's included in the resort fee. I'll talk about resort fees later on. Um, but yeah, you don't kind of pay separately for the bus is included okay i just went to put my headphones on this is not good i'm really hoping these are in my jacket pocket from yesterday i will let you know the outcome of this later okay we are in and i was just taking a look on the app to see if i could maybe do a ratatouille return time one of the lightning lanes um just because i do love that ride and now it is actually part of genie plus so it used to be one of the premium options. So now you would have to have Genie Plus in order to get a return time for Ratatouille, so that's interesting. And also the 1pm virtual line opportunity is only for people who are in the park, as I understand it. And also, if you've got the one in the morning, like I did, you won't be able to get a second one at 1pm. You can only ride Guardians once, obviously to make it fair for everybody. So that was just a couple of things that I found out on my way in here. But let's go and get some coffee, and then we are gonna head inside. I have myself a donut and also a latte. I'm just gonna sit here and have this in the shade rather than trying to walk with it. If there is a low weight for Spaceship Earth, to be honest, we might have to do it when we're right there. Okay, I'm not finished with the coffee, it won't surprise you to know, but we are gonna walk and talk and make our way over towards Spaceship Earth. Just see what's going on there. Um, if there is any type of wait, I might come back to it later. And Pluto's over there meeting and greeting, as he often is. So this is a good place to come right at the park entrance if you want to see some characters. I think Goofy was over there a while ago as well. Ooh, there's always a lovely breeze as you walk under here. So if it's a hot day, that's quite nice. Why am I not seeing a time? I think we'll come back and do this. There is a bit of a wait, which is not a big deal, but there's no need to wait for it when we could come back and do it later, probably with no line. I think I might actually go and check out Figment because it has been a minute since we've done that attraction. In fact, I don't think I've done it since I've been back after the pandemic, so it really will have been a while. Wow, is there actually a line for Figment? I mean, maybe he's hot ticket ever since his popcorn bucket frenzy, but uh, I think it says 25 minutes I can see from here. Yeah, this might be the first time ever that I haven't just walked onto Figment. I used to be a receptionist. This would be a pretty cool reception desk to work on. <laughs> Okay, this wasn't even close to half an hour, it was 10 minutes. The posted wait times are almost always longer. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our special drive-through open house. There's sight, sound, listening with your ears, it's about listening with your imagination. Let the good times roll. Upside down, now you're talking. That's the best idea you've had all day. And upside down. Okay, two things I had forgotten about that ride at the end when it says something about having a blast and a blast of air happens it frightened me because I'd forgotten about it and I almost lost my ears and secondly I'd forgotten how creepy that bit is at the end with the guy's face on the moon that is the stuff of my nightmares uh, but that was really cute it's good for a little break from heat so if you ever need it usually there's not much of a line and now I think I'm going to go over maybe to living with the land I don't want to stray too far from guardians because I'm not sure what time my return will be and and I don't want to be like all the way over in the world showcase so we just hang out here in future world until it is time to ride i'm very very excited for guardians today and this is also where the dvc lounge is just over here is the podium so if you are a dvc member they have a lounge which is like upstairs in this building which is a great place to go for a break and we are scheduled to get some rain today so i do have the umbrella did not want to forget that. I think there's going to be showers quite a bit this afternoon. I'm thinking about going into the butterfly house and facing my fear. I do love looking at butterflies, but them landing on me does frighten me a little bit. I'm just generally not a huge fan of bugs, okay. but I don't know. Do you think I should do it? I'm not sure about this, but we're doing it. We're doing it. I'm going to face my fear. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm already on edge. 
Oh my gosh, no, I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, I'm really trying to be okay about this, but I'm feeling very on edge. I don't think I can do it. I think I need to leave. I mean, they are very beautiful, but just not when they touch me. Okay, that's it. One touched my leg and I, I have to get out of here. I'm freaking out. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. That was horrible. I did not mean to make a scene, but one touched my leg and then I could not get out of there quick enough. Okay, we are now in the safety of the land pavilion. Um, it does look as if there is quite a big line for living with the land. I've never actually done this awesome planet, which is some type of show. I'm not sure if I'll be able to film it, but let's do it. I've never done it before. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you guys any of this, maybe a tiny bit, but I think it is just like a show. And look what I've just noticed on this pillar. It's kind of like, um, it feels like carpet. And somebody's drawn a little Mickey in it. I love that. Wow, I'm not sure what I was expecting, but this is a pretty big theatre. I've got a feeling they're gonna say no recording, um, but I will give you a full report on what this is afterwards. That was really good. It was 10 minutes long. It's basically just a quick film about the planet. It showed you like deserts, forests, and just explained everything about the planet. And then there was like a strong conservation message to it as well. So if you're looking to just watch a really, really nice movie about nature, have a bit of a break, that is perfect. I can't believe I've never done that before. I don't know how. And I see chipmunks here at Garden Grill. If you're looking for a good character meal, I love garden grill there's pluto as well over there and the food's good here too hey that was a nice little break and as we've emerged it's way clouded over so it's nowhere near as hot as it was when the sun is out so although i think it's going to rain that's actually quite nice because it makes it a lot easier to walk around and i'm going to go via spaceship earth see if there is a line for that if there isn't we'll go on that because you know that is one of my absolute favorites then i think i'm going to go to creation store maybe even into connections cafe for a quick drink and then hopefully soon it will be time for guardians the wait time thing seems to be broken let me just ask he said around 25 i suspect it won't be that long but we are going to give that a miss for now there is a storm brewing <laughs> the wind has started blowing like crazy you can see these clouds i think the heavens are about to open at any minute so i think i'm gonna go and get my drink in connections cafe before it gets too full of people hiding from the rain i do love this new starbucks location in here and i think i'm gonna get a strawberry acai lemonade because I absolutely love that. It's my new favorite drink. I should say the correct name is Strawberry Acai Refresher with Lemonade. Okay, I found myself a little seat here in Connections Cafe. I'm just looking at the weather. It is kind of looking like rain, so I'm glad to be inside for a second. This drink, honestly, is the best. It's so good. I could drink so many of these in one day. And this was 6.17. I don't drink several of these in one day because it would get kind of pricey. I am eating dinner tonight at Nine Dragons over in the China Pavilion. I won't be doing that many table service restaurants on this trip, but the ones I am doing, I wanted to show you the ones that are not as expensive. So a lot of table service restaurants are super expensive. I just suddenly became aware of a lot of people outside this window. The rain has begun and it does look pretty heavy to be fair. So yeah, very happy to be here inside. It's on the move again and I love this mural here in Connections Cafe. It goes all the way along and it's really awesome. The rain has stopped now so we're going to go and get a snack because it is lunchtime and there's something I wanted from the Flower and Garden Festival, one of the booths that is around here in Future World. And then we will see where we are at with the Guardians of the Galaxy return time, the virtual queue. Currently it's saying up to boarding break 91 and we're 110. Now I think this booth that I need is this way. This is the way it's telling me. I vaguely saw it last time, just briefly. I don't even remember what it's called. I think Farm Fresh or something like that. Yep, not called Farm Fresh, which totally proves my inability to get the name of anything correct. It's called Farmer's Feast. I think this is the place. It must be somewhere else. I need to get myself a little passport. I left my other one at home. It was a corn on the cob thing that I wanted. So what I'm looking for is actually called Flavorful Kitchen. And I'm just trying to get a map up on my phone of where the booths are to see if I can find it. So for now, let's go into Creations, have a look around there. And then when I get some signal on my phone, hopefully I can find out where this Flavorful Kitchen is. Oh, the air corn is good. It is so good. It can be difficult to explain the heat when you're in Florida at different times of year. So if I was to explain today, Imagine you've had the hottest shower known to man and then you have to go back into the bathroom immediately afterwards. That's the kind of feeling of the temperature today. I always love this wallet. This is so cute. It has the Dapper Dans and the castle and everything. I do love that. And that's $50. And they have some new pride items. They have this cup, which is $24.99. And they also have these ears, which are the denim with the colored bow. They're really nice as well. I have the ones they had last year with a rainbow bow and they were like black sequin, but these denim ones are great. I think these ears may be new. They remind me a little bit of the ones in the Mexico Pavilion, but these ones are blue. 
with the embroidery on. I think it's on the back too. Oh, these are the Norway ears. Oh, okay, so maybe we have seen these before then. They're really nice. We do have a new spirit jersey and I like it a lot. So it's a bright pink but the kind of glittery bit is ombre. And this is the back. Some of them have this where it goes all the way down the arms and others just go like a little bit of the way. So this is one of the ones with the really big writing, but I do love that. I mean, spirit jerseys are not budget, let's be honest. And I did just meet Logan and Yvonne there. So hi to you guys. It's lovely to chat to you and I hope you enjoyed the rest of your trip. And they also have some bags in this Pride collection. They have these little kind of, just like a wrist sort of bag. This is very small. And then they have the regular lounge fly, which has this big heart on the front. I love that. And this one is $75. And this lounge fly bag is new since I was here in May. So I've only been gone a few weeks and this one's just come out. I do love this. I must admit, this is really nice. If I was in the market for another lounge fly, it would probably be this. I would imagine this one's going to be 75 or 80, 75. So I do love that. And they also have this Guardians one, which I really like. This is amazing. This one's 75 as well. This shirt is really nice. I just don't really wear white shirts, but I love the design and the color of the castle. And that is 36.99. They do have some matching shorts too. And the shorts are 36.99. And I figured out where Flavorful Kitchen is. It's over by the Figment building. So let's head over there now. And I also forgot to mention I saw Sarah as well while I was in Starbucks. So hi to you. Uh -huh, I see it up ahead, Flavorful Kitchen. Don't know why I had it in my head. It was called Fun Fresh. No idea where I got that from. And here is the snack I was after, which is the grilled street corn. And it has a garlic kind of crumb on it. Now the problem with this is going to be the mess this is going to make. I fully made my peace with the fact that I'm going to look like the Joker after I've eaten this. Who knows what my makeup will look like, but we're just going to go for it anyway. Okay, I don't even know what angle this is. I probably look like Ursula or something from this angle, um, but we're just going to go with it. It is so hot when you were just stood out in the sun like this. I honestly don't know what to do with myself. There's no good way of doing this. It's drippy, it's corn, it's going to be in my teeth, but it does smell really good. That could be the strongest garlic taste I have ever tasted. Oh my gosh. I'm going to be tasting that for a week. If anyone else met me in the parks today after this, I'm really sorry if I stank of garlic, but I am going to. That is so strong. It is good though. Okay, that was actually really good. 5.75 was the cost. Um, I did have to remove most of that crumb stuff on the outside because it was just so incredibly strong. Um, but once I like removed a lot of it, it was actually really nice and tasted really good. So it was worth it, but it did kind of get everywhere. I think my makeup has sort of survived. I managed to like reapply, so I'm all good, but it was messy. I think this would be a good time to either do Spaceship Perth or Living With The Land. I'm a little bit worried walking past here, there might be escapees. There definitely are quite a few of them around. That was not a good experience earlier. I really thought I was gonna be able to face my fear, but I probably shouldn't have done that when I was on my own, actually. Both Living With The Land and Spaceship Perth seem to have the same wait time. So I think we'll go and do Spaceship Perth because it is my fave. And then we might come back and do this later if we get time. And the fan is out. I always talk about this fan. It's the Easyac fan from Amazon. I think it's around 15 pounds or something like that. It is honestly worth every single penny. I couldn't do the parks in this heat without this. So you can recharge it as well if you bring a power bank with you. Definitely, I can highly recommend I will link it in the description. Standby entrance is actually over here, off to the side, and they have a manual thing here saying 15 minutes. So on we go, we like that. 15 minutes is good. Oh, we're up to 101. Hopefully it won't be too much longer. I think we've got some more storminess brewing, so we might come out to rain. It is uh, definitely getting the breeze up now. And this was about 15 minutes, so the wait time is pretty accurate for this one. <laughs> Okay, Spaceship Earth was everything as always and our time has come. I've just had the notification. Let's go and ride the new Guardians ride. I'm so excited for this. I loved it last time and it's taken till, where are we? 2.35 and I was boarding group 1.10. So depending which boarding group you get, that should give you a kind of idea of how long it might take to actually get onto the ride. But yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing for this. It's a shame I can't film it for you guys, but they do say in the pre-show, no filming. And my policy personally is that I don't film if they say not to. I know some people do it anyway, but I don't. If I'm told not to, then I don't. So unfortunately, I won't be able to actually show you the ride, but I will show you the kind of pre-show area and everything like that. And I will put a 
timestamp on the screen for you to skip ahead if you don't want to see anything to do with it. Any spoilers even for the pre-show area, but yeah, very, very excited for this. And one observation about Spaceship Earth, which I can't remember if I said back in May, I used to feel like when I went on that ride, there was really nice air con. It now feels really hot, actually, on the ride. It doesn't feel like they've got air con in there. So I don't know if it's broken or if I just totally imagined that it used to be like that. But yeah, just a little observation. That one's not necessarily a great one for getting out of the heat. And speaking of getting out of the heat, you do always have Club Cool over there as an option. But you can go and try Coke products from around the world. It's a good place to stop if you feel like having a drink and you can try the drinks for free. But right now, there is only one place we're headed. I am buzzing for this. I'm so excited. I honestly can't tell you how great this ride is. It's amazing. And because of the way they are running this as a virtual line, it's not too crazy or anything as you come up to go in, which is nice. Perfect. Thank you. Awesome. All the aircon in here is everything. Oh, don't have sunglasses on in here. I actually cannot see. And as you'll see from when we did the DVC preview, there are way less people in this line today. It's moving along very quickly. Love how relaxing it is in here. The music they have is just so nice, but then you suddenly might get crazy music. <laughs> also, the soundtrack on this ride changes, so you might get a different song each time. So I'll let you know what we get. I see we have new visitors. Welcome, Terrans. I am Worldwide. Sentient supercomputer serving the people of Xandar. On behalf of all Xandarians, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Xandar. As such, we are all galactic neighbors in a vast universe which we and countless others share. For you to travel to Xandar would take two and a half million years. And here's the description for you guys. You need to make your way to the evacuation. Okay, we're not allowed to film, but just a quick cheeky showing you the uh, ride vehicles there. And they have like a loading thing on both sides. Uh oh, it is pouring with rain. Let's get the umbrella. Wow, okay, they wanted people to start leaving and not block the exit, so we're just gonna go for it. This is Florida for you. Um, this can happen at any moment. I think we are gonna try and get inside somewhere though, because this is absolute <laughs> madness. Let's maybe head for um, Connections Cafe or somewhere like that. And this is the result of walking in that rain just from the exit of the ride over to Connections Cafe. Look at me, I'm soaked. And I had an umbrella up, my shoes are soaking wet. Hey, I'm here in Connections Cafe, just taking refuge from this rain. I've got myself a coffee, which was a hazelnut latte, a venti one, which was five. So adding that to the total. And uh, that rainstorm was pretty real. I got soaked, as in completely soaked. I had my umbrella, but still like my shoes, my clothes are soaked, even my underwear is soaking wet. Like it was absolutely torrential. Um, but it's fine, it's easing off now and you do dry off fairly quickly. I'm not gonna let it ruin my good time. I can't believe the day's gone today. It's already 4 p.m. and I haven't even set foot in the World Showcase yet. And so I'm gonna have this coffee and then I'm gonna start making my way around, probably beginning in Canada. There's a spirit jersey that Becky wants, so I'm gonna go and see if I can find that and just generally have a wander. You can leave if it rains. Generally, I try not to unless it's really pouring down. Like that rainstorm was crazy, but now it's just kind of drizzling, so that's fine, I can deal with that. Guardians was absolutely amazing. Like every, t I feel like it's one of those rides, every time you do it, it's just gonna get better and better. I loved it and hopefully later in the trip, I'll be able to get a virtual queue for it again. That worked really, really well and you know, it's great not having to stand in line. I probably waited 10 minutes once I arrived to actually then get onto the ride. And while I'm sat here in Connections Cafe, I'm just having a little recharge. I just wanted to show you a few more details on this trip of how I do things as I'm going around, when I take breaks, um, and what I do during those breaks, as well as drink coffee. And I bring this power bank with me. This is the Easyac one. And um, they sell it on Amazon, I'll link it below. And I just have a little cable for the fan and then my phone cable. So whenever I take a break, I do tend to just give everything a little charge. Especially when it's very hot, you don't want your fan running out of steam, definitely not. Um, and also with my phone, because I use it a lot for Instagram and stuff during the day. And I find that this power bank is actually really, really good. Some of them are totally useless. They don't last very long, but this one is actually really, really good. 
and then you can just recharge this and it's got an indicator on it there which tells you when it's getting low so yeah this is often what i do while i'm taking a little break okay we're all done with our starbucks and we are off now it's still raining but nowhere near as bad as it was and i forgot to mention the song on guardians i actually don't know what it was called like i knew the song but my 80s music knowledge is obviously not up to par because i don't know what it was called sorry so i can't let you know but i totally recognized it i just don't know the name and this topiary as you come into the world showcase is so beautiful i don't think we actually saw this properly last time it's a very good photo spot i am not feeling very photogenic after the uh, rain shower so i'll probably wait until i come back to get a photo of me in front of this okay we are approaching canada for the spirit jersey we're looking for for becky i need to remind myself what size she wanted and while we're here i think i might go and do oh canada the little movie that they have because i haven't done that for the longest time and we'll check out the store here in canada as well as in the main one inside i think the spirit jersey is usually out here yep this is the one that becky is after nice buffalo plaid moment i do actually really like this one i like the fact that it's red as well there's not enough red spirit jerseys around okay spirit jersey secured becky will be very happy about that and let's go and take a look what they've got in the main store here in canada because we don't come in here very often they always do have a lot of moose items in here in fact they have a moose onesie a camo moose onesie that's quite niche i do always love this onesie as well i don't know why but this bear just cracks me up we've had this in here for ages it's very very fluffy too i'd imagine that'd be really nice in winter and that is 69.99 and they do have some more buffalo plaid items these are nice actually they are 36.99 i'm actually wondering whether these might be a good birthday present for becky it is her birthday coming up and they might be kind of cute to wear like with the spirit jersey if she's at home i don't know what size i would need to get though when you're buying it for someone else yeah i'm a bit too worried about getting those because of the size but they do have a plaid turvis i feel like something in this area will be good for becky i think i'm gonna get her this because i feel like that would be good for her to use while she's wearing her spirit jersey okay that was good i'm actually on fire with presents lately because i've got lisa's birthday present too and her birthday is not till october and they do have a bar back here as well and you get soft drinks and stuff too and i believe we have to come right to the back of the pavilion to go to see the show there's usually hardly anyone back here oh it says canada far and wide maybe that's what it's called now it used to be called oh canada so maybe we're going to be seeing something brand new let's go see yeah it looks like it might be an entirely new experience for us today okay this show is not popular today i think it's just because it's so out the way a lot of people don't even know that there is a show back here i probably won't be able to film it because again it's like a little movie but it'd also be a good place to come to get out of the heat and just discover something that you may not have done before and we're in this is very similar to the setup at the china pavilion where you kind of lean on these rails okay all done in the movie that was everything unfortunately martin short has left the building it's not the same movie and just when i thought we'd also lost the o canada song that was at the end thank goodness because i love that and just to let you know the kid cop stop is back here just at the exit of the show so if you're looking for it it's all the way back there and now we're going to carry on wandering i don't even know what time it is i think around 5 30 and my dinner this evening at nine dragons is at 6 45 i think so we're going to make a slow walk around the weather is behaving currently whether that stays, I don't know. And during the festivals, the Joffrey's location often have the special drinks that are only available at each location. And at the moment, they have a strawberry fields refresher, which is lightly caffeinated blend of strawberry acai juice with strawberries and blueberries. That sounds really nice. People are having their photos taken in the phone box, which is always so funny to me because I'm from the UK, so that would be a slightly odd thing to do, but I totally get it. They are very iconic. And it's been a minute since we've been in the store here in the UK, so let's go in and see what they have currently. So we have some uh, mini items here with her uh, Union Jack outfit on, which is very cute, and also the United Kingdom spirit jersey which I guess is 79.99, the same as all of them. And that is the front. They also have this Christmas ornament, that's very cute. 24.99. And if you like the Rose and Crown pub here in Epcot, they do have a kind of bar mat or beer mat, whatever you call that. I think that's called a bar mat because it goes like all the way along. A beer mat's just like a individual thing, right? Tell me in the comments if you know what I mean. I think I'm making sense, I hope. Ah, and they do have some candy. This used to be over in the tea shop. So it's some very loud music. We'll go and check that out in a minute and see who's playing out there. So now we can play our game of guess how much this is gonna be. So Milky Bar, obviously not very expensive in the UK. I am gonna say that this is $5. $5.99, it's pretty close. 
Okay, how about the Turkish Delights? Always a very small chocolate bar. So let's say $4 for that one. $3.95. I'm getting pretty good at this over the years. Uh, Mars bar, okay. I'm gonna say that's the same, $3.95. $3.45. How about the Peppermint Aero, which is my fave? $4.95. $3.45. See, that's not bad. I, I love it enough that I would almost pay that for it, but I'm not going to. And they do have some Guinness items over here as well, if you're a fan of Guinness. And the Kidcot stop is right here where the Winnie the Pooh meet and greet used to be. I don't think they use this anymore. They did let us in there one time, um, but I don't think it currently is used as a meet and greet location. But yeah, here's the Kidcot stop. Oh my gosh, this is everything. I saw Oasis live at Wembley, the old Wembley, in 2000. Paul Smith over there. It's going to take a look in Lords and Ladies. Uh, very topical. We've got some corgis here. Just had the Jubilee in the UK. These guys are so cute. And I do love these fancier copper items in here and Queen of the Kingdom, and they have matching leggings down here, that go, I think they're leggings, yeah, that go with the United Kingdom ears. I do really, really like these ears. I'm very tempted to buy these. I've just put up a little poll to see whether you guys think I should buy the ears that we just saw, because I do really like them, but I just wanted to know your opinion. And while I was in there, I also just met Sarah and Gareth. So hi to you guys, it was really nice having a chat. I love this, because this is just such a British thing to say. Brilliant. I really like that. And they do have some more corgi items. I guess because we have just had the Jubilee. This is very relevant at the moment. I actually kind of like this eye mask. That's awesome. How much is it? $40. That is less awesome. Okay, that is kind of pricey. I really do love the France Pavilion. It's really beautiful as you walk over the bridge and down this way. And I do love the Belle and Beast topiary here. It's so nice. And they've also got the Remy one. They got some really good ones during this festival. We haven't had any more rain, despite the fact that it does look kind of grey, so that's good. That's lucky. Just remind ourselves what they have here at the festival booth in the France Pavilion. So we have a croissant, which has goat cheese, herbs and garlic. No more garlic for us today, please. Then we have a tuna sandwich, there's a salad, and also a caramelized beignet. That sounds kind of nice. I have my dinner in about 45 minutes, so I'm not gonna eat anything right now, of course, but we will be back in Epcot to eat more festival stuff later in the trip, and I will still show you the menus as we're going around. And we can live in hope that they have reopened some of the stores here in the Morocco Pavilion. So let's go and check. I doubt it, because I was only here just a few weeks ago, but you never know. The stores here in Morocco used to be really good. They were some of my favorite ones to have a look around. Looks like it's still a bar but I will definitely take a little sit down while we're here. Oh my gosh, my hair is so crazy after that rainstorm burn. This is actually a really nice place to just come and have a little sit down back here. There's hardly anyone around. It's just nice and quiet. And I'll set off in a minute to walk over to Nine Dragons for my dinner reservation. I have a feeling tonight I will end up going out of the International Gateway and getting myself an Uber. I definitely will use the hotel transportation, of course, on other days, but Epcot is the one park that I almost, I wanna say almost always, I would say seven 70% of the time I do go and get myself an Uber. I'm always tired from an Epcot day, especially on my first day, so I think I probably will do that. But I definitely will try out the buses in the other parks, probably next time I'm in Epcot as well, just so we can see what the experience is. And like I was saying earlier, if we need to change the time and how all of that works and everything as well. But yeah, on your first day, if you have traveled from the UK, it can be very tiring. It's not been too bad. I have taken a lot of breaks, which is nice, um, but I am starting to feel a little bit tired now. I don't know where the day's gone. I can't believe it's like, after 6 p.m. already. One thing I never see a lot of is photocast photographers in the World Showcase. It does vary, sometimes I see none. I did just see one there in Morocco, but it does seem to be a little bit hit and miss, so be prepared to maybe take some of your own photos in some of the pavilions, because I just don't always see that many. Not that I am feeling very photogenic post rainstorm, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> so I won't be getting any more photos today, that is for certain. I really, really could eat some frushi, but not before my dinner. If I feel like it on the way out, I might do. I definitely won't have any dessert at Nine Dragons in the hope that I could have my frushi as my dessert, maybe. It feels wrong not to. There's only so many chances to get frushi. It's only here during this one particular festival. 
and it is so good. Feels very quiet here today as well. When I say very quiet, obviously there's a lot of people walking around, but the booths are not busy and stuff, so I guess that's probably because the rain cleared a lot of people out of here earlier. I think I may have spotted a new pair of ears. Definitely don't remember these gingham ones. And the current act for the Garden Rocks series is Herman's Hermits. Should I know who that is? Because I don't. And you can line up pretty early for this. There were some people lining up the other way who have a dining package. So you can book a dining package, which I think guarantees you to have seating for the concert. And this is the standby entrance. They have several different performances throughout the day and the earlier ones tend to be a bit quieter. So maybe that would be a good idea. I must have missed this panda topiary last time. This is so cute. Look at this little baby one. I love that and I can highly recommend the Reflections of China movie that they have or little film in here I'm not gonna do it today, but it is very good. I'm excited for this I'm actually really quite hungry now I managed to get seated 15 minutes earlier than my reservation time It's very quiet in here So I definitely could have got a walk up if you are looking for a restaurant in the world showcase to get a walk up This is a good bet. It's very very big in here And it's often not super busy and the reason I've come here today when we're doing more of a budget trip is because this place is not super expensive if you look at the entrees everything is kind of you know 23 24 up to 30 dollars but that's the most expensive thing a lot of the entrees are around that price point to be honest i usually have appetizers and stuff i'll have like rice and spring rolls so it ends up being very very cheap for me but i just wanted to show you that this menu is quite a bit cheaper than some of the other restaurants in the world showcase okay we have some food like i said i'm a fairly plain eater so i have some vegetable spring rolls i have some lo mein noodles and some rice and this is just perfect for me. I know this probably seems a bit weird to some people, but this is what I want. I've got a bit of soy sauce on my noodles, perfect for me. And I also have the raspberry iced tea, which is so good from here. I love this stuff. Okay, I'm all done with my food. That was the perfect amount. And now I'm just having a little jasmine tea, which I quite like to have when I'm done eating. And then I'm going to head towards the International Gateway via the Frushi, because I am not leaving without that. Okay, all done in Nine Dragons. That was really nice. And the total, including tip, was 28 over three which is not bad at all like i say i didn't have anything too major but it was really nice now though i am really feeling the pace i'm kind of tired it is 7 30 and it's obviously my first day in the park so i'm gonna make a slow walk out grab the free sheet and then go again uber from the beach club and as i was walking there i just ran into john and rachel and rachel's mum is actually yvonne who also watches as well so hi yvonne and hi to you guys thank you for saying hello and i did just meet alison and david there as well so everybody is here in epcot this evening so hi to you guys it was lovely having a chat with you free sheet time last thing before we leave there's literally nobody here this was seven dollars i absolutely love it it's basically fruit with with rice and then I think I don't even know what this is on the outside you know it's some kind of like fruit roll up type thing I don't know and then it has whipped cream and some nuts and some sauce on top it's really really delicious there's always just something about the way Morocco looks at this time of night when it's not quite dark yet but it's sort of getting dark it just looks great I love it and the frushi was so good as always but it is definitely time to head back to the hotel now. I am super tired. Do you know what? I might even be too tired to walk through World Traveller. Only joking, obviously. Oh, I think we have a couple of new mugs here. I haven't seen the morning face one. I really like that, actually. And this love one. I think, don't think we've seen that. This one is $14.99 and this one is $19.99. And they also have this 50th shirt, which I don't think I've seen before. That's cute. All right, let's go. My bed is calling for sure now. And look at the boardwalk at this time of night. This is just beautiful. I actually think it looks better like this than when it's completely dark. It's just such nice lighting. The beach looks beautiful. And the beach club is looking very nice as well, I have to say. Okay, I've just called an Uber and they are only two minutes away, so that's perfect. And you just come outside here and this is where they'll pick you up. Okay, I am back, the pajamas are on and I'm looking very shiny. I mean, we have had rainstorms and humidity and who knows what today, so the hair hasn't survived either. It's been kind of crazy. And for those of you who may have been wondering about the mystery from this morning, my airpods were in my jacket pocket from the plane yesterday thank goodness um i was extremely worried about that this morning i just thought oh my gosh i hope they haven't like fallen out i did think that's probably where they were but anyway 
there they are and today has been amazing it went so quickly obviously i had that boarding group for guardians and i feel like i just spent most of the day today in future world and obviously with the rain and everything else at this time of year you're definitely going to get rain when it gets into the summer it does rain a lot in florida so make sure you have your umbrella your ponchos and just the expectation that that is going to happen you are going to get these like sudden crazy downpours it's just one of those things and you just kind of have to get on with it really and it didn't rain all day thankfully once it had done that kind of showering in the middle of the day it did sort of ease off then and i will put today's total probably here somewhere of what i spent today i don't think it was loads but these things can mount up and i won't know until i actually total it up that's kind of the point of doing this is to show you guys what i actually spend in a day and it'll be quite interesting for me because i often don't really think too much about it i don't spend loads and just go around buying tons of stuff the only thing that i didn't include was the turvis that I bought because that's for Becky and she watches these videos I didn't want to say how much it was because it's a gift for her um, but obviously I did buy that as well but that's the only thing I haven't included in that total like I say because it was a gift tomorrow I'm going to be heading to the Magic Kingdom which is always an exciting day there's nothing like walking into that park for the first time on any trip I need to book my bus for tomorrow which I'll probably do in a minute I did notice this morning they didn't actually check the QR code you know the thing I showed you on the phone nobody even looked at that like everyone was at the bus stop and they just kind of got on the bus so I don't really know what the booking thing is all about maybe it's just during super busy times they need to make sure there's enough capacity I don't know like there was hardly any of us on the bus I really didn't get that they didn't even check I I could have not even booked it and nobody would have known so that was slightly odd I don't really know what was going on with that and yeah I now need to get into bed for sure I am feeling super tired now um, so just want to say a huge thank you to you guys for watching and for liking subscribing for always saying hi in the parks I love having little chats with you all about your trips and I just love sharing these vlogs as always I hope you guys are all having a great day and I'll see you in the next one for a day in the magic kingdom I don't know whether it was the heat or jet lag or tiredness in general or whatever it was, but I really did not feel very well. So yesterday's vlog is gonna roll right into this one. We are gonna have two days in one vlog.